So now I'm here with um another tutorial and in this tutorial we are going to try and create this card feature that you do see over here like there's a card there's an empty space there's cards and an empty space into space and then there's cards um in here we're going to use breakdance we are not going to do any um we're not going to do a lot of code just breakdance to try and make this thing happen all right so in the design um over here i'm going to go into breakdance so i just have this page laid out already so i'm going to the first thing i'm going to add is um, a section so let me click on here and then i just add section and then within that section i want to add a grid so there's a grid and the grid our design over here has four um, consider it has four rows and three columns four rows yeah yeah four yeah four rows all right so we do have when we go into our grid we do have four but i'm just going to clean it and then put in my own four over here all right so that um that is absolutely good and um, the next thing that we are going to do is to build the very top of the card let's build one card first and we can duplicate it so we're going to add a grid in here so the first grid and then in here we are going to add um what we do need we need one text and then we can duplicate the text and then this text should be like um 73 percent so that is good i am going to come and copy some text from somewhere to use it for the other part so over here i'm going to select this and then put this text in here but um our thing is not these um this lot so i'm going to do this and then close that all right this being selected so we selected the dev and what i do want to do is probably give the dev um a certain kind of height right um so going into layout uh, what is, yeah, okay over here let's say we give it a height of 300 okay that seems kind kind of um let's do 200 for now all right and then that being done let me go into layout i want this to come all the way to the bottom so i'm going to select on the dev in layout i'm going to go into like horizontal and then let's make sure that vertical is on desktop and then for alignment we want the space in between so it brings it all the way to the bottom all right and then you can see that we have some padding in there so let's deal with some padding all right so the dev still being selected i'm going to go into container and then in the pattern section, I'm going to give it like a pattern of 10 pixels. All right. So that is good. And let's say we are going to give it a background color of um, pure white. All right. So pure white might not be the best thing. So let's use this, whatever this color is. All right. Let me fix the typography here. So in here, I'm going to give it a type of 4REM. Maybe way too big. And let's bring it to like 3.2 maybe too much let's do just a three all right and then i'm gonna go into advanced and let me make this a custom height of one and yep that should be good all right so we do have a very first um card as you can see so one card over there and what we are going to do is i'm going to duplicate this three times all right and then the next thing that i'm going to do is i'm just going to add a normal card in here i'm going to hold that card and drag it to this part so you can see that the card this empty space represent this card that we do have here let me click on my grid right and then i'm going to give this grid a spacing of five pixels like that all right so we have built the very first um top card the next thing is to have this two in the middle how do we go about it we're going to do the same thing that we just did so let's hold this and then duplicate it twice duplicate and then in here we are going to add um, two more divs right and I'm going to drag this. Then why is doing that? Okay, come this the side, and then hold that. And then I'm going to drag it to that side. And let's see if we are correct. All right, we are absolutely correct. So that is that. Um, the next thing that you want to do is duplicate one more card, and then hold that card and bring it all the way to the bottom. But as you can see, this one is on the second panel. So what I am going to do is hold this and then duplicate that. And we do have a grid that looks like what is in there. All right, let's save this and see how it's in the front. If it works, that's fine. If not, we can adjust it accordingly. It works. All right, so let's compare this very grid, right, to what we do have in over here we can put an image in the background so let's say let's select this right and then go into background and then in here let's uh, do image 
And then for image, let's say I'm going to use this. All right. So you do see that we do have this nice image in here. I'm going to select that and change the color to that. All right. And I'm going to copy and then if we were using a class, a class would have been much more different to do it. All right. So we do have this. And what we can do is we can give the top a pattern. So let's add some you say spacing, right? And then over the top, you can do like 300, right? And in the bottom, as you can go into the case study, we are going to push this one. So we're going to hold the grid and then we're going to give it a margin, a top margin, right? Let's do top margin. Right, maybe bottom margin. Let's say, and then we're gonna do like negative bottom margin. So let's push, keep pushing this down, right? And then what I'm going to do is come back in here, and then I am going to add another section. All right, and then for this, let's go back and see what they're doing. We can add like some color in here to give it like to differentiate it. All right, and you can see that this one didn't overflow. So we can give a, let's say, let's try index, right? So index and then click on this cog icon and give it like a two. All right. So it works. All right. So we do have something like this and we can refresh. And then we can see that we do have something a bit more like that. But let's go back into a section going into size and then for heights, let's make this one a custom height. Um, let's say 700. So we can see what we're doing. So over here, if I refresh, you can see that we do have this kind of grade that is very similar to what they do have over um, over there. All right. So this um this like kind of one way of doing it. And let's say, how do you make it responsive? So if you want to keep the same design, you can keep the same design when it comes to like responsiveness and other stuff like that. So let's try and make this responsive so we do have this as the the tablet mode so we do have this on that side and then we can come over here and we do have this and you can see that things start like clumping together and with that you can change it you can make this one probably like a three so you can have something more like this right so and then let's say you can see that this one is aligned to this side and this one is aligned to that side let's say you want to like swap some things when it comes to like different breakpoint so let's say we want this one to come let's say to this side right you want this one to come on this side so this there is selected i'm going to go into the search panel and then type in order right when you type in order maybe these things will come out but we are going to click on this cog icon and then in here let's say we're going to give it a uh, let's say a two right so you can see that this moved it shifted where it should have been so you can like make some match things that you do want let's click on this dev and then say order and then let's give it like let's say number four maybe number four is too much number three maybe number two two yeah like whatever place that you want to put it at so if you want like you can reorder all of these things like to look a bit different on different breakpoints and then you can also do like when you come in here so you can change we like, let's select back the grid and then for this we can make it let's say a two and you can have that so let, let's try and say that we want to hide some of these um these items when we are on different like breakpoint like mobile right so let's select on this and then go into advanced on this card icon in, in advance let's go into hide on breakpoint and we are going to change this one to let's say mobile and that right so let's go in here too and let's do the same thing for this no condition breakpoint so this and that right and that should be good so let's save it and then we're going to go into the front on uh, the front end and then we're going to refresh it and then i'm going to open the the developers panel and in here i am going to select mobile so you can see that now they are gone so you can make all the, all those designs with all those things and when you come into like mobile you can either reorder how they are so when we put over here you can see that some of them is going to reorder so we do have like these reordering and then when we come into mobile some of them disappear why do they disappear because we have hidden them when it comes to like the mobile breakpoint so that um that is how you can build a card like this if you are in brick and i think the same idea follows with any other um 
builder or thing that you're using when it comes to like building with grids so um hope you enjoyed this one my name is nakon i'll see you on the next one